Last month, CJENM and Hybe's music label Bullift Lab came under fire after netizens criticized the poor styling and editing for members of Inhypen. The first issue occurred when Inhypen performed on SBS in Kigeo, and in jeans criticized the stylist because member Jake wore a necklace with the name Allah, God in Islam, in Arabic. When the video of the performance was released, in jeans were shocked and disappointed when they noticed the necklace. Knowing that Jake is not Muslim, many deemed it inappropriate to wear it as an accessory. Muslim in jeans especially have been educating on why this style choice was so problematic. Allah is a sacred word, and to wear it on a necklace, particularly for non-Muslims, is blasphemous. After this issue, fans turned their anger and disappointment to Bullet Lab, as it is known that idols do not get to choose their outfits, and it is down to the stylist. It led to the hashtag Bullet underscore apologize trending, as fans wanted an apology and statement from the company. Recently, the topic has resurfaced after several videos of Jake have gone viral, and fans started discussing the treatment of the members of the staff. During a fan call with Jake, a fan used her time to try and discuss the topic with him. From the beginning, fans praised Jake as he seemed to be interested in hearing what the fan had to say about the topic. Yet, when the fan started to discuss the details of the topic, the staff quickly cut the call short. Although it was pointed out that the time might have run out due to several technical difficulties, idols have been known to extend it when it comes to sensitive issues. In particular, Jake seemed to understand what the fan wanted to talk about and wanted to listen, but he kept being cut off. Netizens couldn't hide their annoyance that Jake was genuinely interested in what the fan had to say but was cut off. Later that day, Jake treated fans to a live broadcast. Unfortunately, he was subjected to a lot of harsh and hurtful comments about the issue in the live stream. As many of them were in English, Jake would have been able to read exactly what they said, and it was clear from his facial expressions that it impacted him. Others even shared that they believed he found ways to apologize indirectly throughout, whether it was through the songs he played, including the track You Said by Connor Price. The song includes the lyrics hundred times apologizing isn't that enough? But you said it's a little late for apologies, would never want me back. Many thought it was his way of saying sorry to fans, in a way that wouldn't have to go through the company. When fans saw this, they showcased their anger that Jake had to read all these malicious comments, because the company didn't release a statement on the issue. Netizens have voiced that the lack of consideration towards the issue negatively impacts the members, and their mental health. As of yet, Belift Labs has still not released a statement.